Let's learn how to connect to your PlanetScale database and branches. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison. I'm on the developer education team here at PlanetScale. Today we're going to take a look at how you can connect to your PlanetScale databases through the various connection options you have available to you. This is the third and final entry in a series of videos I created in order to quickly get you onboarded into PlanetScale. If you need a recap on that, I will put a link to the first video in the corner of this one. Uh, but with that, let's hop over to the PlanetScale dashboard and take a look. Okay, so on screen is the overview tab of the database created in the previous two videos. If I click on the connect button, a modal will appear which will give you some options to connect to the database. If I click on this connect with dropdown, you'll see a number of languages and frameworks that you can select from to get sample code to connect to PlanetScale. I'm going to select Go, which is my primary language, and you'll see that there are two tabs that now appear in the lower section of this modal. One is a .env file, which will contain the connection details to access the database, as well as main.go, which actually contains sample code for that specific language that you can use to connect to your database. If you just want to get the raw connection details for the US Planet Scale database, selecting General will list out the database name, username, host, and password. And this is really useful if you're trying to connect to PlanetScale using something like a third-party GUI. Now, you'll notice that the password across all these options is starred out. That's because as a security best practice, the password is only available when it is first created. To create additional passwords, you can click on the New Password button, and a new password will be generated on the fly for you. Once again, once you close out of this modal, you will not be able to access this password again. And one important thing to note about passwords is that they are branch specific. If you create a password from the main overview tab of that database, you'll actually be creating it in the default branch for that database, which is typically main. To create passwords for other branches, you can select it from the branches tab, and I'll select dev since this is the secondary branch that I have available in this database. When I click connect within the dev branch, you'll notice the modal will pop up. However, it gives me a username and password right after I access this modal since it's the first time I've clicked that button within the dev branch. Any password created within the context of a branch is created for that specific branch. And using this specific username and password will connect your application to the dev branch as opposed to the main branch. After following along with this series, you should have a good understanding on how to navigate the PlanetScale dashboard, create and work with your databases and branches, as well as connect to your databases. At this point, I'm actually going to direct you over to our documentation portal. We have plenty of code examples to further your understanding on how to connect to PlanetScale. We also have several guides on how to migrate your MySQL databases from third-party cloud providers into PlanetScale if you already have a database you want to work with. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.